Hi everyone, and welcome back to an empties update. Now I had this idea in my head at the beginning of the year, I did an empties video, I'll link that up here for you. And I was like, I'm gonna do this yearly. I'm gonna keep all of my trash <laughs> for a 12 month period. And then I'm gonna show you guys and make this an annual thing. That hasn't happened. I basically have this, it's this gigantic basket. It sits under my office desk. I put all of my empties in it and it's full. In fact, it's beyond full. It's like making a tower at the top and everything is just like falling out onto the floor. I have to put things back in it every single day. So instead we're doing more of a, it's not even a half year update, <laughs> an eight month update of everything that I have got through recently. I'm gonna try and break it down into makeup, home stuff, supplements, hair care, skincare. Ooh, there is a lot of skincare and then also body care. Um, I think I've done a good job recently of if I've opened something, I use it up before I start something new, especially when it comes to skincare, hence why I'm just using things up. There are so many things here to mention. I will not be linking every single one up down below. That will just take me years. I don't think it would even fit in a YouTube description box if I'm honest, but I will try to say whether the product was gifted or not to me and whether or not I would repurchase. So let's kick it off with makeup. Abysmal, really quite a lackluster effort on my part here. Five items. I have two mascaras, surprise, surprise. One is the Lancome Missia Big Waterproof Mascara. Do you like this? Would repurchase. And then the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. I was sent this, it was gifted. I'm not sure I would repurchase. I really, really liked this mascara when I had my lash lift. Um, it was beautiful, volumizing, made my lashes absolutely gigantic. I just haven't found anyone in the Brighton area that does a lash lift as good as I used to have back in the day. My lashes have become like resistant to it. Has this happened to anyone else? I've been to various different places, like three different places over the last year. And I've never been like as wowed with the end result as I have been previously. So if I ever had a lash lift again, I would consider it, but without, I think it's a no. The Blink Brow Bar Clear Brow Gloss, really enjoyed this, a Katie Jane Hughes recommendation, definitely would repurchase. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I had this in the shade three and four, used them completely up. And my tip would be to get rid, oh, it's hard to open. Ugh. Get rid of those rank little sponges on the end. It's far easier to get the product out and just decant them into a pot instead. That is what I did. Ugh. The packaging, I really don't like for these. I do like the product, but I feel I'm just really in love with the RMS and the Glossier. And when I put anything else under my eyes, I feel like it looks heavy and I feel like this ugh, looked a tad heavy. Not sure I would repurchase. Pretty sure I bought both of these. Candle wise, I've used up two. This is the Damask one from Boy Smells. Love this one, picked it up when I was in Chicago. Mm, definitely more of like a wintry scent. Really enjoyed using that up though at the beginning of the year. And then this is the Goji Berry one from Rituals. Disclaimer, I worked with Rituals on a campaign where I use this product, but it's gone. I really like it. I would say this for me is a year round scent for the living room. Loved this in the living space. It's very fresh. Would repurchase both of these. Let's talk through hair. There isn't a crazy amount here. There is of course three bottles of the Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo. All purchased by me. I love this shampoo. I'm currently using the Whey um, Detox shampoo and I just don't think it's the same. I feel like my hair gets greasier so much quicker. This for me, I have very oily tresses and that just works so, so well. Speaking of oily tresses, I also have a flaky ass head. I really do. I have psoriasis on my scalp. It ends up looking like dandruff. And I got to the point where I was just like, <gasps> I was like picking out bits. It was disgusting. So I was like, I really need some kind of anti-dandruff psoriasis on the scalp type product. I usually use Nizoral. That works really, really well for me. I just couldn't get my hands on it. So I ended up using these two products. This is the Vichy Anti-Dandruff Shampoo for normal to oily hair. Really like this. A really nice product to use. And this is, I never know how to say this, Al Alpicin, Alpec, Alpicin, Alpicin? Dandruff Killer Shampoo. This product is not sexy. There is nothing about this product that is sexy, but I basically alternated these two every time I washed my hair until I used them up and my dandruff went. So there you go. I feel like this wasn't as a nice sudding experience. I feel like this gave me like the little bit of luxury and this was just like getting the job done. Would repurchase those if my head was getting flaky again. And then I have the IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I do really like this product. I 
just think I prefer the Obey Dry Texturizing Spray. Like it just, it, it, it takes it to the next level um, in terms of dryness and grit. I think I would repurchase that instead, instead of this. And then the Way Super Dry Shampoo. Um, I liked this as a dry shampoo. It is pricey, I was gifted this. I'm not sure I would repurchase because I feel like I'm just a bit of a floozy with dry shampoos and I kind of don't have like a favorite one. I sort of like flit around with one, so yeah. I thought I would do a little supplement section. Um, I'm taking a lot of supplements at the moment. I feel like I'm really noticing a difference with like my hair and my nails and just my overall well-being. and I have used up a lot. So I thought I would share with you what I have used up in case you're looking for like an omega-3 that doesn't taste really fishy and get stuck in your throat. These are great. This is the Wild Nutrition Pure Omega-3. I've gone through three jars of this. You need to take four a day. So basically each jar like lasts me a month, but it's good for your hair, it's good for your skin, it's good for your nails. I just realized that my diet was probably quite lacking in omega-3. Caroline always recommends it as a supplement to take. And yeah, these don't smell like ridiculously fishy. So I enjoy these ones. I've heard that magnesium, is it citrate or citrate is really good for your skin, especially if you're getting like hormonal imbalanced type breakouts. Um, so I've only been taking this for two months and um, I'm still taking it. This is the Solgar brand. These are gigantic. These are the biggest supplements that I take out of all of these. And some days I do really have to like pet myself up for it, but I've worked out how to get them down. It's all in the tongue action. <laughs> You force your tongue into the back of your bottom teeth and you just kind of like get the pills far back in your throat as you can, swill it down with some water and it, and it all goes down. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of testing this out in a hopes to uh, clear up this area. Then basically everything else from here is from Nuco. I'm very obsessed with the branding of this product. I don't think I've been sent anything from the Nuco. I think I purchased all of this. I, I purchased all of those as well, but I'm kind of experimenting with their range just to see like what works for me. Um, this is the material metabolism one, which is supposed to um, help you if you want to eat sugar all the time, which is me. Contains cinnamon and cayenne to help reduce sugar cravings. I've taken it for two months. I'm still taking it. We'll see how that one goes. The gut ones are where I'm noticing a huge, huge difference. And I previously wasn't taking like prebiotics, probiotics or any of that stuff. Or if I was, I was like dabbling. I've definitely dabbled with this brand before and like taken it for a month or two and then kind of been like, ah, forgot about it and let everything gather dust in my kitchen cupboards. Whereas now I have this pill box and I have like Monday to Sunday and I put everything in at the beginning of the week. And I've basically been very on it with my supplements for the last kind of two, three months really. And one of those things I've been taking is the Nuco Prebiotic and Probiotic. And I feel like in combination with these ones, which is the de-bloat one for relief from chronic bloating and frequent indigestion. Amen, that is me. I basically take this, which now comes in a pill form before it was in a powder form and I was mixing it into my morning smoothies and I would much rather take things like this in pill form. It's just so much easier than having to like stomach some like grim smoothie every morning. I also used to take their plant protein and gut food, but now I just have a separate protein powder. These are separate as like a probiotics. And I don't have to whisk like quite grim tasting dust into my morning smoothie and they taste much better for it. So I wouldn't recommend this one, but I would recommend the de-bloats and the prebiotic and probiotics. I feel like they're doing some good in my gut. And then the other kind of supplement category that I take are like skin ones. Um, I was sent this one. This is the Beauty Chef Glow Inner Beauty Powder. Um, this doesn't taste like horrible, horrible in the grand scheme of supplements that you mix into things, but I just, I would rather not do that. I would rather just take everything in like capsule format. So I wouldn't repurchase this. I went through one jar of the skin filter and one jar of the skin hydrator. And then I also was sent these ones. Was, did I purchase them? I think I purchased one and was sent the other one. It's this Army brand and it's French Glow and then Pure Glow. It's really hard with all of these products to like know if they're working, if they're making a difference, because obviously it's very much intertwined with like what you're eating, whether you're drinking enough water, are you working out, the skincare you're using topically on your skin. So it's really tricky to sit here and be like, I recommend all of these products because it's a combination of a lot of things, but I'm just like giving the whole supplement thing a go, trying to be consistent with it, and I'll report back in like 40 years. <laughs> okay, let's do bath next. I have a rather large array of products in front of me. The Therapy Himalayan Detox Salts. Yes, 
I love them. I use them in most baths that I have. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just keep this one and then buy another one of the refill pack better for the environment and all that. I used up their Cherish Skin Repair Serum as well. A really nice product, but quite a heavy body oil. So I feel like this one does kind of sit on your skin. It doesn't absorb as quickly as other body oils that I used. And also it does have a lot of different things in. And I just wondered if it was the best for my psoriasis. And since I've been using the Biosance 100% squalene oil, here you go, three of these, this just feels like a much simpler ingredient product for my skin and my psoriasis reacts really well to this. It doesn't go, it doesn't like completely disappear for like days at a time whenever I use this, but this definitely feels like it calms my psoriasis slightly. I've done a bit of Googling. There is quite a lot of research into that, that squalene oil is a really good product for like dry skin conditions. Um, so now I just use this. So I don't think I would repurchase this one from therapy, but this one I repurchase all the darn time, I already have another one on the go, I already have a backup, please make this in a larger bottle because I, I would buy like, I want it in this size bottle. <laughs> Mitchum deodorant, I love it, I'm a sweaty Betty, nothing else works as good as this for me. The Walida Skin Food, and I've actually put this in the body care category, I've used it completely up, because for me it was more of a body product, I used it when my hands were really dry and I was like washing my hands like constantly and my hands just got so, so, so dry. This was brilliant for that. This is brilliant for like any rough cuticles, great for your feet, um, really good for if you're tanning and you can put this around your knees, ankles, elbows, armpits as a bit of a barrier cream. This was brilliant. Would repurchase. Much prefer this product over their like body butter, their skin food body butter. I find that just like a really difficult product to use, but this really enjoy. Speaking of cuticles, the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. I mean, yeah, there's always one of these in my empties. I love it. It's all I've used for the last like eight years of my life in terms of dissolving cuticles. It's fab. The Season Kaufman, um, this is like the bath oil that's got the piece of rosemary in it. Mm, a plant that looks like rosemary. This was sent to me. This costs so much money. This is so expensive to buy. I'm not sure if I would buy this myself because it is so, so, so pricey. But then it is gigantic. It did last me a really long time. And I bet if you worked out the cost per mil, it wouldn't be a million miles away from the Aromatherapy Associates. So kind of on the fence about this, but as a bath product, I just love the therapy bath salts. We obviously used up an Aesop Resurrection hand wash. It's fab. I love keeping the bottles of these and then just refilling it with your Radox. But if you do fancy a ridiculously bougie hand wash, it's really nice and looks beautiful. Treat yourself to one of these. Such a good gift to get someone, like a moving in present, this is perfect. I used up the Cooler Pina Colada Sunscreen Spray. This is the SPF 30. Obviously with sprays, you're gonna wanna use a lotion like first and then use a spray as more of like a topping up product. This is brilliant for that. It smells amazing. One of those ones that my friends are like, hey, can you go get, can you get me some of that Pina Colada stuff? Like people ask me to get this for them. Like they absolutely love this product. I'm like, guys, you, you could just buy this yourself <laughs> off of Space NK and Cold Beauty. I get it from both of those places, wherever has it in stock. I love the travel size one, but also the big one is massive, currently working through it. The Kiehl's Made For All Gentle Body Wash. I have definitely been gifted this in the past, but this one I purchased. I love this. I feel like my skin, my psoriasis just really enjoys this product. It's great if you've got sensitive skin. So definitely gonna purchase another one of this. I feel like this, and the squalene oil and this actually, the Tan Lux, the gradual um, tanner. My skin just loves all of these products. They all work really nicely in tandem with each other. There's almost another one of these um, used up actually. I used it last night and was like having to really work to get the product out. It's the best tanner. <laughs> also this, I finally used this up. This is the Le Tan Chanel. This is the tanning water that they bought out like two summers ago. And I've basically just been using it to tan the backs of my hands and the tops of my feet. Um, and I've actually now bought the Tan Lux um, spray tanner for that. It's a really nice way of getting a very like even tan on those areas where if you get a mitt out, it can get a bit like messy and heavy. They don't sell this anymore, so I couldn't repurchase it. I was gifted it. It was very expensive. The Tan Lux does exactly the same. And the final category is 
skincare. So as I mentioned, I think I've been pretty darn good actually with using stuff up here and just trying to get through stuff instead of accumulating so much. I've been like purchasing things when I need them and not having like a shed load of backups, just clogging up the cupboard. So I'm gonna try and go in order and I'm gonna start off with makeup removers. Obviously the Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover is there. I came to the end of my stash. So I ended up using the Glossier Milky Oil. Have a feeling this was sent to me. I don't think this one was. I always said that the Clarins was my favorite and I was like, Glossier Milky Oil is fine, but I'm not crazy about it. But actually the more that I used it up, I was like, I really like this product. I would repurchase both of them again. I think it depends what one comes up cheaper and I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. It might be the Glossier Milky Oil actually. You get 100 mils in here and you get 120 25 mils in the Clarence. I have a feeling this is more around the 20 pound mark and this is more around the 10 pound mark. So actually the Glossier Milky Oil works out better value for money, I have a feeling. And it's nice because it, it doesn't feel as oily, I would say, as the Clarence one. So yeah, this really grew on me, but I mean, this is forever a favorite for me as well. For cleanser, I have three bottles of the Kiehl's Centella Sensitive Facial Cleanser. Yeah, I mean, this cleanser is just everything. It's brilliant. Forgot to say that I obviously would repurchase them and I have a feeling that all of those I purchased myself. The first one that I ever got, I was gifted and then I've always just like repurchased it myself. I love. The Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. I used up my travel size and then I also used up these two. Really love this as a facial spray. It's relaxing as hell. Again, would repurchase. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex. I was sent this. I really, really enjoy this eye cream. Um, I've actually got another one on the go at the moment that is almost finished. It's such a beautiful texture. It's like a rich gel and it just feels so nice around my eyes. My eyes are definitely one of the drier parts of my face and I feel like this nourishes and moisturizes without feeling like greasy or leaving like a strange film. I feel like concealer goes really nicely over the top of it. And yeah, I kind of have no complaints around the eye area at the moment. So I feel like this does a brilliant job. I have a load of serums. I realize I just, I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them to use up. And I was kind of doing that thing where a new serum would come in and I'd like use a couple of drops and be like, oh, this is nice. And then go back to the one that I was using and not use up that previous one. So I was like, no, you're using up your serum woman like come on you don't want anything to go off here so i used up the drunk elephant b hydra intensive hydration serum i think i bought this one again as often happens i'm gifted the first one and then i just repurchase it when i like it afterwards i have a feeling this one i bought i really like this serum it's just like a solid hydrating serum would repurchase but as i mentioned i have so many. I definitely don't need to buy a serum for a long time. Um, this is the Decree Treat Tincture Daily PM Serum. Um, I was gifted this one. This is a new brand that is available on Cult Beauty. Super, super pricey. I haven't really heard a lot of talk about this brand. I'm always like waiting for Caroline. I'm like, hey, Caroline, what about, what about this one? <laughs> is, it, is it any good? <laughs> this wasn't my favorite serum. It kind of came out like a luminous yellow. I don't know if you can kind of see that around the top. I don't know, it was okay, I wasn't wild about it. I did enjoy this one though. This is the Kate Somerville Bio Mimicking Peptides Serum to smooth and firm. I was gifted this one again. This just felt rich. It felt like it was doing something. It's kind of hard to talk about serums because ultimately they are there to treat. And although there is like a feeling texture aspect of it, like, and the proof is gonna be in the pudding in like 20 years time. So it's, it's always a bit tricky with these, but I did like that. I would purchase that one myself. And then these two are from Zellens, the Power D High Potency Pro Vitamin D Treatment Drops. I bought myself this, it, I think is my second bottle of them. I really like this product. Again, would repurchase. This one, I think they sent me because they saw me using this and they were like, do you want to try the Z Hyaluron Hyaluronic Acid Complex Serum Drops? Really like these as well. I actually think this might have been my favorite like hyaluronic acid serum compared to something like the Drunk Elephant. I feel like this really was a long, tall drink for my skin and my skin just absolutely loved it. So a bit of a mixed bag with all of these. I used up a Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream SPF 30. Have a feeling I bought this one myself. I have been gifted this product in the past. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of miss it. I'm using up the Origins Vitasing at the moment. I'm really getting there with it, getting to the end, which is great. But yeah, I kind of miss having this in my life. Sometimes I don't want that tint and I just want something that is sheer on the skin and this is perfect for that. <laughs> 
this one. The Augustinus Bader, the rich cream. Not even that, and a little one as well. I don't think I've been gifted this. I'm pretty sure I bought all of these myself. Woo! <laughs> this cream is so pricey and so ridiculous. You've got to be ridiculous to buy it. That's me. But I've used it up. I'm currently using a Kate Somerville moisturizer instead and I miss it. I really, really miss it. I'm like, when can I use up this moisturizer so I can get this rich cream back in my life? Um, yeah, it, your skin is glowy as hell after you've used it. It's insane. It is so, 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 so rich. If you're not about that, you, you'll hate this product. You will find it way too much. But personally, oh, my skin drinks it up. I did get the cream just to test it out. I was like, oh, I wonder kind of how that compares to the rich cream. Personally, not about the cream, not interested in that. The rich cream though, oh. Mum, if you're watching this, please do not Google how much that product is. <laughs> the Maid Lindstrom, the Youth Dew. I went through two of them. I love this oil. It's such a beautiful facial oil. Um, it's just really hard to get hold of in the UK at the moment. I think they're having some import issues. Currently using the Zellens oil instead, but again, I miss this. I need this back in my life. The Synergy Skin Ultimate A Essential Vitamin A Serum. This was like the first retinol product that I have used constantly. Like I have used it up. Um, and again, with retinol, it's tricky. It's like, did I react to it? No. Did it make my skin like really dry and flaky? No. So it gets a tick in those boxes, but it's like, does it work? We'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure I would repurchase it just because I know there are loads of others in the market. And also I've actually got quite a few that I need to use up that I've kind of been storing and putting to the side, but it was a really good introduction to retinols. And it's definitely a step that I'm going to continue with in my routine. The Isle of Paradise tanning drops. These are the medium ones. You just put them in with something like the May Lindstrom. You can either mix them in with something like the Augustinus Bader and then just apply it all over your face. Like you think I've been out in the sun? Absolutely no way. I've been putting some of these. I've actually got the light ones on the go at the moment, but all it does is mean that I use a couple more drops and it's basically medium. I really like this product. It mixes really well with whatever I apply it with. Doesn't look patchy, doesn't fade away weird. Jules has done a brilliant job with these. Love them. And then finally, finally, <laughs> to face masks. Um, one is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. This stuff is like very, in it's very intense. It does do what it says on the tin. Um, I used it once with Mark and Mark was like, why are you burning off my face? Why do you hate me? I like it for when I'm feeling a bit like clogged up with SPF and a bit congested. This is brilliant. I was sent this, but I have repurchased this myself with my own money. And then the Josh Rosebrook Cacao Antioxidant Mask. This was like a thick dark mask. I don't know if you can see that. It was like a very thick mud mask. I did like it, but I did find that it dried out quite quickly and then became very difficult to use. It's not like a clay mask. It's like a very, very thick mud mask. Um, I just feel like there are others on the market that are perhaps a little bit easier to use. So I'm not sure I would repurchase this one. However, love the brand, the Advanced Hydration Mask. So that is it. That is everything that I've used in the past eight months. And I can finally recycle all of these things and things aren't gonna be falling on the floor anymore when I put my feet under my desk. I am very, very happy about that. But if you have any questions, feel free to pop them down below for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in another eight months with all of my beauty rubbish. We love to see it. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.